Okay, so we have our, our three screws in. Uh, one thing to note, any screw you leave loose is going to be a dash rattle. So if you don't want dash rattles, double check your screws, make sure they're snug, make sure they're tight. Um, these trucks are already notorious, as I'm sure you know, since you're watching this video, of uh, having a just really, really, really uh, rattly dash. Unfortunately, the more you take them apart, the more that's going to happen. And so mine isn't too bad, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely no Cadillac either. Um, these these are pretty straightforward. You just put them in where they go. They they they're in the shape of like a D. So you can really only put them in one way. And you just, you know, they just, they just go on and they slide in place. Uh, the last one's a little bit harder. Uh, like I said, for the love of God, do not lose that little piece. If you lose that little piece, you're going to be hurting. Uh, I lost mine the first time I did this. And it took me like, luckily it stayed in my truck. And uh, yeah, that was really fun. Because none of this shit, I'll show you, I'll leave this one out, I'll put it on there. You see, it uh, It simply will not stay on there. And nothing's going to screw up your nice, fresh, factory-looking install. Like having uh, a missing freaking, uh, one of your missing knobs from your AC unit. So, I guess your heater too, your controls. Climate controls. Okay. And like I said, it's more prone to stick to this one because it's aluminum. And the, the other knobs are plastic. So this one goes on a little bit stiffer, and it's probably because it's controlling a vent. Uh, probably takes a little uh, bit. The next part is to put this guy in. This sometimes takes a little bit more than one shot, unless you do it the freaking first time for your video. All right. So, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I fought with these damn things so much. Last thing we do plug in our little connectors are shaped like an L and they're an L on here uh, I don't really want to deal around with this so I will come back to when I have those plugged in and I have this popped in place since I showed you how to do it to begin with all right now we're doing the really dark last step of uh, putting those little clips in the side I hope this actually films better than it looks because it looks pretty freaking bad right now for being dark, but we'll go on the lighter side right now, so you can hopefully see something. Anything. There we go. Oof, that is dark. There we go. Okay, you see, you just line up your hole, and uh, put that little guy in. Mine have already broken off two over the years. Yours might too, so go easy on it. And then, you're done. Check your area, no extra parts, no extra parts. Pretty nice. Now, we just have to go put the battery back on. Okay, here we are, uh, as you can see by the dome light, and that ugly guy foaming with my uh, girlfriend's phone, mine ran out of space. Uh, here we go. So we have everything in place, we have power again. See what's going to go on, what will stay on. So far, so good. We have, we just have the brake light. That's no big deal. That goes off. And now you should be getting deja vu if you watch that other video. You see my lights coming back on. The dimmer worked good. Uh, don't be alarmed about my fuel changing. Uh, it should be just about an empty anyway. Obviously, you're going to lose your your uh, any settings that may have. But yeah, here there it is. So clean install. Good luck to everybody uh, that wants to do it. Uh, this video gets a lot of hits, and I get a lot of questions. And uh, I'm a huge fan of these nice uh, factory-looking installs on these things. So you look in there, and it just looks normal. There's nothing. There's nothing aftermarket to, to it at all. The casual person coming in here looking at this truck is just going to think that it's, you know, always came like that. 
if you're going to a junkyard to find these clusters, you're going to want to look for probably an automatic uh, pre-runner or 4x4. Um, I know the 0104s share the same cluster. I want to say 98 to 2000 probably share the same cluster. 95 to 97, I believe, share the same cluster. Uh, 95 to 97 do not have a digital speedometer. So you're going to, you can't, those really don't swap. 98 to 2004, I, on, I have no idea. Um, I've only messed around with mine. And uh, I know that in 2001, they went to these white face gauges. They used to be black, uh, like, like my stock gauge. So if you want to keep the black one, some people have said they've done it. They put the 98 to 2000 ones in uh, to retain the black face gauges. Um, I always like the white face ones because during the day they're white and black, but then, you know, at night they're, uh, <laughs> at night they're, they're kind of darkened with the, uh, the orange light. So I, I've always really liked that. As you can see better. So those should be, uh, the quick little things that I've run across. Um, if you search this topic, uh, cluster swaps on uh, custom tacos I don't I, I'm not affiliated with them I, I don't really I'm not popular on there anymore I don't I don't post there anymore uh, but they they have a lot of good information on these uh, first generation Tacomas and with that being said my dinner's done I have my girlfriend's phone there's the Tahoe here's this truck uh, you'll see the miles re remain the same unfortunately they don't change so you're going to have to go to a place, uh, there's a place in Concord, California that does it. I think you might be able to mail them. Uh, they're the only place i found that does them. I'm just poor, so I can't do it yet. And after this is done, I'm pulling this back out and I'm putting the back one in because it's uh, highly illegal, Corey Trevor, to, uh, to run a cluster and uh, not show the accurate miles on your vehicle. Uh, I don't think the one or two to test it out to make sure your speed, speedometer works right is going to hurt, but um, you, you definitely don't want to put miles on there because uh, it's pretty pretty shitty and pretty shysty. We don't want to do that. So that's that. Everything's done. You guys have a good one. Oh, uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe and share this video if you think it'll help someone or if it helped you. And until next time, see you guys later.